Hello, Dr. Panjabi. Hello. We're hoping that you'll give us your side of the story. Would you mind speaking with us for a few minutes? Uh, well, I have said what I need to say, and um, I think that's all I really want to say. We do have your statement, but we were hoping that maybe you could speak with us in person. I know our viewers would love to hear what you have to say about the situation. I think that at the moment, given what I have gone through in the last few days, mm -hmm. I really need a little breather, so okay. um, I brought the document because I sensed that there was a bit more fairness at your station than I had hitherto found. And I left it with a very polite gentleman there this morning, and I think that that says it all. So. Could I ask you one thing? Um, we're, we're hearing from uh, the Blunden Center today that uh, they did try to contact you uh, before the class had started, but I know that in your statement that you said that you had not been contacted, so we're just wondering, uh, did you receive any contact from the Blunden Center? Because there's a bit of disconnect there between the two sides of the story. I received the indication after the situation had erupted. I received their information, but not sufficiently. And I'm not really in a mood right now, if you don't mind. No, I just made it very clear to the gentleman that I had said what I needed to say. And I'm trying very hard to keep this thing dignified mm -hmm. and um, to get on with my job, because my students are what matter. How has this affected you personally? Well, how would you be affected with the threats and so on? serious threats. What kind of threats have you received? I'd rather not talk about it. I've lived most of my life in Newfoundland and uh, I always had a great respect. Anyway, I'm sorry, I must go. Thank you.